Hi, I'm Stella Tomlinson, priestess and author of three books so far, including Cycles of Belonging. And I hold space for perimenopause as a sacred rite of passage that initiates you into your deepest wisdom and truest self. And I believe that our soul is always whispering to us, but that the overstimulating demands of daily life and our cultural conditioning conspire to prevent us from trusting that innate source of wisdom, or from preventing us from hearing it in the first place. And I believe that during our 40s and the perimenopause midlife transition, that our soul begins to call louder and louder to reclaim our true self and to shed the layers of conditioning that have sought to shroud our truth, our power and our wisdom. And we need to be able to carve out sanctuary space for our souls to speak to us. So you can get in touch with your deepest needs, your desires, your wishes, and to dream into a vision of what is coming next for you in this transformational time of your life. So I've created a Be Held By Her practices, soul care practices, um, from my 20 years experience, well, over 20 years experience now, in personal and spiritual development, including meditation, yoga, mindfulness, energy healing, and in more recent years, menstrual cycle awareness, goddess and nature spirituality. Um, and I've been teaching in this, this field since uh, 2011, and I'm a, an initiated priestess of, of Bridget, a priestess of the, of the forge of Smithcraft. <laughs> And I do see this passage of our life as a soul forge, which is an initiatory process. So what I'd like to share with you in this video is a short practice to guide you to feel held by her, the presence of the goddess, the sacred feminine, the divine mother. Um, so you can hear your soul whispering to you. So I invite you for this practice to get comfortable to sit down or lie down on a comfy chair, even on your bed. And yeah, just for these next few minutes, this short while, I'll guide you to settle, to connect, to, and then to listen, to listen to what your body and soul has to tell you today. Okay. So if you'd like to, then yeah, as I said, settle, get comfortable. And you can close your eyes if you wish to, or maybe just softly gaze out, whichever works for you, whichever feels best for you. I know that you can't do this wrong. Just simply listen to my voice or just take this time out from your, your day to have a bit of space. So, as you settle, I invite you to take a nice deep breath. Breathing in deeply and breathing out fully. And again, a deep breath filling the lungs and a full breath out, letting go. One more time. Deep breath in and full breath out. Inviting body and mind to settle. And inviting any unnecessary tension to, to leave your body. Inviting any unnecessary tension to melt away from your face, jaw, neck, throat. Inviting in a feeling of ease and well-being into the shoulders, arms, hands, softening. Torso, softening, spacious, relaxing the chest and belly, upper and lower back. pelvis, hips, settling at ease, down through the legs and feet, 
allowing the whole body, the whole body to settle into the support beneath you of the chair, the bed or the ground. And as you settle, I invite you to just notice your breath. Your breath, just letting itself in and letting itself out. Noticing the natural flow of your breath, perhaps through your nostrils or over gently parted lips. And can you begin to notice how your breath embodies the cycles of the seasons? Each in-breath, like the spring, building to the fullness of summer before turning into the gentle release of the out-breath through autumn into the stillness and quietness of winter before spring surely arrives again. Breathing through the seasons, inhaling spring and summer, exhaling through autumn and winter. Spring and summer bringing just enough fullness and expansion. Autumn and winter just enough letting go and stillness. And this cycle repeats itself through your breath effortlessly. Spring and summer of the in-breath, leading to the autumn and winter of the out-breath. And this process just happens with ease. And as you breathe now, can you feel the earth holding you? Mother Earth beneath you, down through the building, down into the earth beneath the soil and rocks and roots beneath you. Mother Earth is holding you now. You can surrender the weight of your body to be held by her. And as Mother Earth holds you, become aware of the sky above you, the sun and the moon, with a feeling of spaciousness, of freedom, of clarity. The sky is above you, the sun and her warmth, and the moon and her gentle silvery light. And you are held by it all. The strength and stability of the earth beneath you. The spacious clarity of the sky above. Holding you in their love. And now bring your awareness to settle in the centre of your being as these energies mingle. The earth from below, the sky from above, mingling in the centre of your being. As you settle your awareness into your heart space, that sacred space within you. Where you can feel connected to your innermost feelings, innermost wisdom. And as you settle here, I invite you to open to connect. How do you feel today 
in your body. How do you feel? Perhaps there's tension or freedom, heaviness, lightness, numbness, fizziness, just notice. And how do you feel emotionally? There's no right or wrong way here, there's just how you feel. Can you sense that? And what do you need today? What do you truly need for your deepest well being of your body, mind, and soul? It could be space, to rest, to walk, to be with people, simply some good food or something which brings you joy. What do you need? And now I invite you to listen to the whispers of your soul. Settle deeply into the loving, compassionate space of your heart. Breathe and open to receive a soul whisper. Perhaps an image, a word or feeling or an action that you need to take. Just open without censoring to whatever your soul is whispering to you today. Breathe and receive. Breathe and receive this soul whisper and trust yourself. And now slowly reawakening, maybe by breathing a little deeper, moving your body, perhaps having a stretch, opening your eyes when you're ready. And welcome back. So I hope that exercise, that short exercise, gave you a little taster of what it is to check in with yourself and to receive the whispers of your soul. Sometimes it takes us a lot longer to get there. <laughs> this is just a short taster, but just doing that a little bit every day, just be checking in with how you feel, what you need, what your soul is yearning for helps you to really connect deeply and provides an anchor for you during this, the shifting sands of this midlife perimenopause transition where your feelings can be all over the place. It's perfectly natural. You may feel like you're going mad. You are not. <laughs> this is your soul calling to you louder and louder to shed what is no longer working for you so you can step into your truest, and most fully expressed, wise version of you. So that's all I'm going to share with you today and I hope you found this connecting soul nourishing. So may you feel held by the love of the great mother and trust yourself. Until next time sending you peaceful blessings and so much love.